Uh, politics in Virginia. Yep. Governor wants special session on gun control after mass shooting. Yep, never waste a crisis. There's the nitwit right there. That guy. He's shaking the hands of the, of the Virginia Beach mayor. Yeah. Yeah, he's announcing uh, they're going to get bring them all back to the Capitol to consider a package of gun control legislation. You know, uh, Northam, a Democrat, confronted the Republican-controlled General Assembly in the middle of an election year, said he wants every lawmaker to go on record for or against his proposals. Well, guess what? It includes a ban on silencers. Yeah, that'll help. High capacity magazines as well as broadening the ability of local go government to limit guns in city buildings, so on and so forth. That'll stop them. Uh, let's see. He wants uh, but universal background checks on guns purchased, limited of one handgun per month, and a so-called red flag bill that would allow authorities to temporarily seize the guns of those who are a threat. I want to zoom that in. And uh, he wants votes, not laws. Oh, he's asking for votes and laws, not thoughts and prayers. Yeah, in a statement, the DOP Speaker Kirk Cox dismissed the governor's call for a special session as hasty and suspect when considered against the backdrop of, as the last few months, a reference to the blackface photo scandal that nearly destroyed Northam's career. That's when he, he dressed up as a black guy, covered his face in black, and he was right next to a guy with a KKK costume on. Uh, Republicans will instead put forth legislation to toughen penalties for those who use guns to commit crimes. There's already enough laws on the books. That's not the problem. Okay, now let's uh, get this thing out of the way. Got a stand ovation from gun control advocates, state workers, and elected officials, as he said, the massacre in Virginia Beach demands that lawmakers put Saving lives ahead of party loyalty. Okay, okay. Now you don't rest the steam. The steam. You know, this is... Uh, uh, your Friday shooting has been his first major test since the scandal over a racist photo of his medical year school, school book that he drove him from office four months ago. He was, uh, he denied it. He was in the picture of someone in blackface and another person in KKK hobe and, or, yeah, hood and robe. The top gun right advocates, President of Virginia Citizens Defense League announced, denounced the special session as a political theory and, and called it pure baloney. Here's the thing. I know that 12 people were shot in Virginia. And they're really, uh, you know, the, the guy that shot him was a 15-year-old employee. What we don't know is why he did this. This guy might have cleaned up uh, Virginia Beach. He might have rid the, 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 the area of corruption. And you know and I know there's corruption in every facet of political theater, in one way or another. Somebody getting uh, uh, paid off for something, corrupt things that they do, illegal things that they do, and they, they're in a position to hide all this. Maybe your sewer work wasn't up to par, but they passed it anyway. Your water treatment plants, not up to par, they passed it anyway. There's a lot of underhanded stuff going on, corruption and crime, uh, payoffs. This fellow that shot these 12 people, he might have done this, this, this country and this city and this area a good deal of good by wiping those people out. Maybe he even sent something to the newspaper. But do you think that the newspaper would ever print such stuff in it? To implicate these people? No, they would not. They would not. You know. Uh, <laughs> it's just the way it works, people. And you know it, and I know it. And that guy probably got tired of it. That's the only thing I can come up with.
Never trust politicians. They're backstabbing sons of guns. And they're not in there for your, uh, to pr promote uh, a better area to live in. They are there for the money, the clout, the power. And this guy here is no different. You know, we have a bad thing in this country. Years ago when the when, uh, Supreme Court said, you know, well, if a cop's in fear of his life, he can shoot and kill somebody. That's like giving James Bond a license to kill, 007. No, they, this guy did this for a reason, and, and uh, whatever it was is all hush-hushed. You can bet on it. Like I said, that man probably did this uh, part of Virginia a, uh, a good deed. Thanks for watching.